go. Here we are then. We've got small Jeff on camera duty. <laughs> Steve, the police person man in his Volvo 850 police car. It's, okay. it's done. It's, is it finished? It's not wired up yet. Not wired um, up. But that's the, that's the job for the winter. So. Ego small Jeff. If you could film, look, film all these bits down here, look. So point the camera at those. So what, what have we, talk us through it, Steve. What have we got here? Well, got, got the phone handset. Oh, wow. Obviously. Um, and under that is a life hammer for cutting seat belts. Yeah. Um, that, odd looking thing is actually a map light. Oh, okay. Um, rare as hen's teeth. Yeah. That cost me a fortune. Where did you find it? <laughs> eBay. Really? The usual thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wife said, how much? Yeah. What? Yeah, really? I bet. I yeah. said, I haven't, I've never seen one on eBay. I haven't yeah. seen one since either. Yeah. So, yeah. But I remember you telling me last time we made a video about finding all of these bits and bobs. And yeah, um, that's obviously the, the VASCAR, speed enforcement, um, yeah. uh, calculator, uh, the radio, the all the light system, tracker, Yeah, got down there. Fantastic. Um, some extra switches here, uh, I've got another one to put in yet for the matrix board in the back. Yeah. Which, um, these wiring in. So, Brilliant. Uh, mobile phone. Love it. Uh, got, Period breath kit. Oh here. really? And a, a box full of tubes. Don't 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 test cause, me. Because uh, <laughs> when this was in service, you'd find them all over the floor. Would you? Yeah. Lazy people just couldn't yeah. bother to um, to do it properly. Excellent. So, yeah. What and how's the reaction of people at the show? Are they? Oh, uh, wow. it's, it's been and it still works as well. I think I was breathalysed by one of those when I was at university. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, people are enjoying the car then. I, do you know what I've, I've been staggered at yeah. the response, mostly from ex-traffic cops. Really? Yeah. Wow. Probably, I must have spoken to about thirty over the weekend. Yeah. From Merseyside, Norfolk, West Yorkshire, Nottinghamshire, yeah, Cheshire this morning. Yeah. Um, and I say, so, I'm pretty sure I told you before, traffic cops can be pretty, yeah, disparaging on vehicles and things. No one's got a bad word to say about these. Amazing. No one. Love it. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's been been a great weekend. Good. Well, well for any, any any new subscribers that are watching and thinking, why are you making a video with Steve? Go back <laughs> through the old videos. The interior from this car, um, Steve bought it from me because he bought this, this is his actual police car and it had a beige interior and needed a blue one. So that's kind of how this journey started. Yep. We've now made, I think, three videos together mm -hmm. in the time of you getting the car done. So what I'll do is I'll have a walk around the car now. Yeah. After saying I wasn't going to film anything, we've ended up doing it anyway. <laughs> have you got, so for people who, for people who are subscribed, perhaps haven't seen the video, have you got one chase story that you can share? I know I've put you on the spot here. Favourite right. chase, although that might sound right. like an old thing to say. Right. There's no such thing as a good chase. No. I, I'd say they're all fraught with danger. Um, I had one on a Sunday afternoon where it was pouring down with rain, or it just stopped raining. Um, two, two guys acting suspiciously around parked cars in a car park. And by the time the, the controller finished um, giving the description of these two people, she then said, oh, by the way, they're in a stolen BMW 525 estate. Yeah. Which obviously raised my interest. Um, I found them within two or three minutes, and it was the most hair-raising, I was single crew for a start, Yeah. hair-raising pursuit I've ever been in. Speeds of 130, 140 mile an hour yeah. in 30 limits wow. in places. Um, it went on for about 20 minutes, which is yeah. a long time. Yeah. Um, I think people people watch these documentaries and they watch these American chases and they think that all police chases are 45 minutes an hour long, but that's really not the case, is it? No. Most, most of them last less than five minutes. Yeah. But you know, at the moment, well, this went on for 20 minutes, which is a long time. Um, they did some horrendous, it turned out they were two escapees from Lewis Prison. Right, so didn't they, they had a motive to, to run, oh, yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. Um, they eventually crashed in a pedestrian precinct. They hit one of the old concrete flower bed things. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, as, as did I, I didn't hit them. What happened to me was I hit the curb as on the entrance to the, um, precinct. Both yeah. tires exploded. What, both, what, both so what were you split. driving? Driving, driving this? Least. Not, not this not particular this one. one. No. Wow. I think it was, a, it was the next V seventy P one. I think. Pretty yeah. Sure it was. Yeah. Um, but yeah, both front wheels split. Wow. And when I got out to go and go after the driver, um, the brakes had actually caught fire. On your Sir, car. Yeah. And there were flames coming out of the um, 
actually licking the wings. There was a woman from the florist came out with the florist things and put the car out. Are you kidding? <laughs> I didn't know until I got back. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was that was probably the worst of yes. of many. Um, wow. But yeah, they they are they're all fraught with danger. There's no no two ways about it. Whether yeah. it last two minutes or, or twenty minutes. Yeah. Um, Brilliant. Your leg does shake. I bet all, it does. All the way through it. <laughs> well, the thing is, you're all you're all adrenalised from the drive, and then you've yeah. got to jump out and chase the guy. Yeah, and I I'm not a runner. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he did run for probably about a mile. I yeah. don't know how I caught him to be honest. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was um yeah I had a plenty in 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 this and, yeah. and others. So, and uh, of all the bits on this car, then what was the hardest thing to find? So far, because it was when, when you bought it. Light. <laughs> so the map light. So when, when you bought it off eBay or whatever it was, there was nothing on it. It was stripped of all its yeah. police gear, wasn't it? Yeah. So you've had to find all of these bits yeah. from various different places. But the map light was the hardest one to find. Yeah, I've, yeah. I suppose the other one is the rear matrix board, which is in the tailgate, which isn't yeah. on the car at the moment. Yeah. Because it needs a bit of repair. Um, that that was difficult to find as well. But I've got one now. Um, and come this winter, after today, it's still getting stripped again. Is it? So, I mean, the light bar's dummied at the moment. The yep. grill, grill lights just sat behind the grill. Yeah. Um, none of this obviously works, but after today, um, it's been stripped um, so that it can go to uh, an auto electrician to fix yeah. it all, put it all back together again. Yeah. So, um, Brilliant. So, so it all works for next summer. Yeah. When we do it all over again. Because you're busy with all sorts of, I mean, we chatted about this last time, your show calendar, and I'd imagine now this car is finished, yep. you don't have a free weekend, do you? No. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no. Excellent. And after this weekend, I'm going to have a very long lie down. Yeah, yeah, I bet. my throat's gone, yeah. my back's gone, yeah. um, but it's it's been fantastic. What it's busy been? today, isn't it? Yeah. It's very busy. Um, I found out yesterday... Um, they sold 69,000 advance tickets for this. Really? 69,000. That wow. doesn't include, you know, you know, exhibitors like me. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, perhaps people who sort of paying at the gate and things. Yeah. So, 70,000 plus. Excellent. And I think we spoke to at least half of them. Yeah, uh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> so, have any other ex-police cars come out of the woodwork since I spoke to you last? Anything exciting? Uh, yeah, we've had probably a dozen inquiries here this yeah. weekend. Um, I think the most interesting one is a Mark IV Zephyr. Oh, okay, um, yeah. Four by four with ABS. Really? Yeah, he's had it for 40 years. Wow. But didn't know, he knew it was a police car, but didn't know which force it was in. And so we got all these details. Yeah. And um, do some research on that when I get home. Great stuff. Um, but yeah, it's it's been mind boggling. Yeah, um, I bet. Cool. Really, really interesting. Well, I'm going to upload this one from my phone from here unedited. So I'm going to jump out the car okay, have and a have a look at some of the details. Yeah, let's, let's have a look in the boots. Talk us through it then, Steve. What have you got? Right. Um, well, 12, 12 cones. Yeah. Um, all the all the signs and the, and the stands sort of go on. Uh, one crowbar. Yeah. I suppose all, you never know. Not <laughs> quite. All, all the additional signs to go on the on the frames, etc. Yeah. Uh, that's a laser gun. Oh, okay. Yeah, for um, catching speeders. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, triggers broom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plastic lightweight shovel. Yeah. Um, everybody else, what this is? That's breathalyzer. <laughs> well, yeah. it could be. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually a diesel tank dipper. Yeah. Um, Checking for, for red, red diesel. For red diesel. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, a whole host of other bits and pieces: first aid kit, and, um, lamp, yeah. motorway manual, maps, all, all yeah. the new bits and pieces. Got um, full-size stinger there. Um, Got a full-size stinger. Yeah. It's just on the window there. Wow. You must be tempted to get that out, put it in front of the car for a display. <laughs> you want people walking on it. Uh, <laughs> I think there's something called health and safety in yeah, this place. Yeah, there's a minor, minor uh, issue there. Yeah. Are there any bits that you're still looking for? Or have you, do you think you found uh, it all now? Or? No, the, the only things I've got to get for it now are like, like new roof trim, because that's, that's Oh horrible. yeah, that's a pretty uh, standard, by the way, 50 yeah. thing really, isn't it? I think 160 quid aside. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, um, sadly, I haven't yeah. got any that I'm breaking that you can nick one off at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. I've got a new panel for this. Yeah. That's, yeah. Under, that's under the car. I only picked that up yesterday. What is? The, the panel. Oh, it's the, under the car, yeah. yeah. So the, these on the 850s, they always vibrate. Yeah. And I spoke to a guy who restores these 850s, and I said to him, what's the best way to do it? And do you know what he said? He said, just put a self-tapping screw in there. And do you know what? He's absolutely spot on, okay. because right. even replacing the clips, <laughs> it's really fiddly. Yeah. So with mine, in the end, I was just like, right, I'm going to get a drill, and I'm just going to screw it directly in. Because they wobble no matter what you do. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm sure you'll do it properly. <laughs> well, I've got time now. Yeah. Because, I mean, th this summer's been mental. Yeah. I had to get the car ready for the Police Fleet Managers Conference in July. Yeah. And I've got, I, I was given two weeks' notice. Yeah. And at then, like, the last time you saw the car, it was naked and it was going to, yeah. It was going to stay like that for most of the summer. And then yeah. I, had to, I had to get it ready. Yeah. For, for the Police Fleet Managers Conference yeah, to yeah. launch a brand new police product. Excellent. And guess what? What was it? <laughs> Don't tell me it was an electric car. It probably was, but it didn't turn up because it wasn't ready in time. Amazing. So you got your car ready, yep. and the product wasn't ready. And the, their staff weren't very pleased. No, I bet. So, yeah. they, but they still wouldn't tell us what it was, but it's probably going to be electric, isn't it? Brilliant. So, um, well, thanks very much for uh, taking the time to talk to me again. I think it's right. looking absolutely fantastic. Love it. Very good to see this. Very good to see this car again. And um, I'm sure we'll catch up with you again, Steve. People love you on my channel. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> um.